let's look at the working of a strainer the working of a strainer is very similar to how we make tea imagine here we pour tea and this simple mechanical device can help us to understand how a strainer works like so this is basically mechanically removing the impurities together right this is what a strainer does in the industrial world it basically removes the mechanical impurities only by mechanical means there are no chemical reactions happening the strainers can now be divided into temporary type and permanent type so basically like how we have a continuous filtering system sometimes for water filtering like that kind of thing can be called as permanently fixed there so that could be like a permanent strainer kind of assembly and temporary means the one we just saw so now let us take this concept and put it to the industrial world strainers can further be divided into two important categories for us to understand one is what we said temporary and permanent the temporary ones can then further be divided into cone type and truncated cone type now let us look at these types and when to select them so the first thing is for the temporary ones which we just saw the cone type the name has been derived itself from its construction so if you see the construction it almost looks like a cone and the end connection is what defines the name of this particular type so it almost resembles a cone and hence it's called a cone type temporary strainer the truncated cone type now if you see here is also derived by its same shape if you see here the end connection the cone is truncated before going to its end this has a wider area for filtering as compared to cone type so this is how we get cone type and truncated cone type now let's look at why do we use temporary strainers so for example first important thing is the cost if you see these strainers are so simple in manufacturing and require so much less materials that the cost is very low so that is why these are one of this is the preferred reason of selecting temporary strainers the second important reason is short duration usually these strainers are not meant to be work for continuous service application so sometimes during just startup the strainers might be required initially when the debris are more or there are more impurities is in the flow eventually this might be removed very rarely would you see that these strainers are used for very very long durations third thing to important to note is the pnid symbol so this symbol varies from project to project but you could say almost it should look something like this which represents a cone and this is how we can identify in the pnid that this is a temporary strainer that is to be used permanent strainers now permanent strainers can be divided into two important types one is the y type and the basket type if you see the y type it is almost equivalent to the y letter and the basket type almost looks like a basket that we are carrying so as per the construction itself the name has been derived when do you select the y type strainer and when do you select is your basket type strainer so let us look into that the first important consideration is pressure drop the pressure drop is higher in y type strainer as compared to the basket type strainer so depending on your application if that is applicable you can have a high pressure drop then yes you can go for y type strainer the second criteria is cost y type strainers have lower cost than basket type strainers so if cost is a important criteria next then you can go for y type strainers the third thing is cleaning in terms of y strainers your cleaning intervals have to be more regular as compared to your basket strainers and it will have if you see in terms of the capacity as we saw why is there more cleaning required because the capacity handling is low so the y type will not be able to handle that much amount of dirt as compared to the basket strainer and thus they need to be cleaned at regular intervals in terms of the y type strainer important thing to notice how would it look in the pnid for you to identify so this typical pnid symbol looks something like this the three are the flanged connection to it so usually it is flanged connected and if you see again it is showing as a y type symbol so this is the y type strainer pnid symbol similarly for basket type if you see it should represent something like a can you guess it yeah like a basket so it will represent something like this but it depends on project to project on how deep they want to show and what are the other considerations but almost it should look something like this basket type strainers that is further divided into two important categories which is simplex and duplex simplex is what we just saw and this is how duplex looks like now why do we have simplex and duplex in simplex if you want to change it or if you want to clean the uh, filter to it then for that you need to remove it out of service the duplex give you the advantage that this can be happened in line so do you see this wall here so basically this wall is kind of like an interlock 
between the two uh, baskets so what happens is in case if you want to clean one you can just move the valve and the other one would get activated and that would be used for inline of the flow and the other one can be cleaned very easily so let's try to have a conclusion we have learned so many types of them so the first thing is strainers are divided into temporary and permanent type temporary is further divided into cone type and truncated cone type Permanent is divided into Y type and basket type and basket type is further divided into simplex and duplex. This video is part of the masterclass on Udemy called as how to learn PNID in a brand new way. I think you would find it super valuable. The link is given in the pinned comment and in the description. Till then, happy learning. Take care.